being betrayed by Rachel Starks, who is working for the Brotherhood of the Dragon, he realized that the head of the bloodline was his former classmate, Tinker, whom tried to bully the professor in school but got an ass whooping from the professor and introduced Rachel Starks as his half-sister who was part of the bloodline. She gloated that she conned the professor who was unable to detect that she was an imposter and was actually surprised that a man of his intelligence fell for her story about her dead general even though she left some clues. They made the professor understand that thanks to him they found the blueprints of the doorway to the bridge pathway to the parallel earth. That the scroll of the hidden prophecy was not a revelation to expose the bloodline as he previously thought. The professor questioned Tinker on why he wants to bring destruction to his own planet but he rebuked him by telling him that this world was not his planet for their bloodline traced back to the parallel earth and his greatest achievement was in outfoxing a smart man like the professor. Tinker and Rachel contacted the king of the parallel earth to get ready to cross over for the king is being accompanied by a million ships. Immediately the bridge pathway was activated and the doorway was open for the king and his ships to cross over. Suddenly Rachel noticed the professor moving forward from his initial position in which he asked him where he was going and the professor replied her that he was picking a safe spot. Still gloating at the professor in her successful victory, she was surprised by one of the ships from the parallel earth crashing into her and killed her. What Tinker didn't know is that the professor had already made some alteration to the coordinates of the scroll in which sent most of the king's crew into the sun. The unrepentant Tinker was defiant, boasting that the professor's trickery stops nothing, that he will repair the faults and bring in billions of soldiers to invade it. So he commanded the system to cease teleportation, but he was too late for the professor override his command and made the king and his ships collide with the asteroid that was about to hit Earth. And that was their end. Tinker was furious and wonders how did the professor outsmarted him. Then the professor told him that Rachel Stacks blew her cover when she lied that she couldn't speak Bedouin. And if she can lie about that, that means she is lying about everything. Releasing himself from his cuffs, the professor knocked out Tinker and flash kicked his men. When he was surrounded, he held Tinker as his hostage and ordered the pilot of the parallel Earth spacecraft to open for them to enter. And when he got inside, the professor ordered the pilots to protect the ship craft with its force field and forced him to drop a bomb on Tinker's men and it exploded and they all died. Without hesitation, the professor shot Tinker in the head and fell to his death in Berlin. The professor was responding to a letter he got from a very young fan to do some crazy stunt with his car and he was obliged to do it. He hadn't rest from the last adventure of saving the world for he needs something to stimulate his brain. No one knows why he takes unnecessary risk but the truth is that the professor loves to take risk and no challenge is too big for him to handle.